There isn't a better scenario. The way it works is a heat recovery ventilator is designed for whole home ventilation. And what happens, it takes conditioned air, pumps it to the outside, but at the same time, fresh air from the outside is coming in and the two will bypass each other in these channels. So the outgoing warm air preheats the incoming cold air, hence the heat recovery ventilator. Right now, your basic ventilation for your home is you turn your bathroom fan on. So you're taking conditioned air, you're throwing it to the outside. And then cold air leaks in, or warm humid air in the summertime leaks in through all the gaps and cracks and open windows and stuff like that. As they make their home more energy efficient, they're starting to live in basically a plastic bubble. So if you, if you threw yourself into a big plastic ball, how long do you think it's gonna go before you start getting a little funky air in there? So we need to provide ventilation to the home. That's just a basic principle. And a heat recovery ventilator is an excellent way of doing that with homes that are reasonably airtight or draft proof. I have to go into a home and I have to appraise it and tell the homeowner based on what their home is, which one's gonna be better for them. Dehumidifiers are great at sucking moisture out of the air and our sandy dries are phenomenal for that, but they don't provide fresh air exchange. And that's the difference where a heat recovery will do is it will provide fresh air, whole home exchange in a very energy efficient manner. City of Vancouver has mandated that all new homes have to have a heat recovery ventilator built into them. And the new BC building code will be pushing heat recovery ventilators in all homes in order to provide that required ventilation. Older home, if your house was built in 1930, wind's gonna blow right through it like a wool sweater in Ogden Point. Dehumidifier is absolutely a better choice in that scenario. 